We know how important giving is to the work of the church. It's always been an important part of the ministry of the church in order to fund the different works that are going on from the Green Lawn Church. But it's even more important now as we are social distancing and we don't get to meet in our Sunday assemblies to be able to give on a regular basis. The operations of the church continue and in fact the needs are even greater because of the different things that have come up with the coronavirus situation that we have. And so we want to encourage you here at Green Lawn to continue your giving, whether that means bringing your contribution to a minister or elder and dropping it off, mailing it in to the church office so it can be counted there, or a real simple way of giving is through our online giving here at Green Lawn. If you come to the Green Lawn website and you look at these scrolling banners on the home page of the website, the fourth item in those scrolling banners is to give online. There's also a link here in the left set of menus that says online giving. Whenever you click on the banner, it will bring you to a page that gives you a list of those options for online giving. And the first one is this greenlawn.infellowship.com, which is the website that we use to be able to do online giving. At the bottom, it gives those instructions for other ways to give as well. But let's go to In Fellowship and notice how that giving is taking place there. Now you can just type that greenlawn.infellowship.com in your browser and go to it directly. You don't have to go through the website every time. Create a bookmark for it um, and that will make it even easier for you to find it each time. Now you will have to, uh, you, you don't necessarily have to register at in fellowship in order to give. There is an option at the top of the page that says give now and if you click on that option it will pull up the giving page where you can give the information that you want that needs to be given in order to give online. Now in order to give online you will need a, a credit card or preferably, preferably your bank debit card and fill in that information so that your giving can be recorded with the bank and then sent to the church account. But let's say that you want to register for in fellowship there's a benefit for doing that because if you register for in fellowship and give through that then you have the opportunity to have a record of your giving each time you give online it will be recorded in in fellowship and you can pull up that record you can print out statements you can do several things any time of the year so that you can keep up with what your giving has been to the church so we're going to sign in with my demo member member I'm a Christian and when we sign in with her information, one of the options in these opening items is your giving. When you click on that link, then you'll see this window come up. Uh, here it says no results found, but if Ima had been giving over a period of several weeks or a year, then her giving for that year would be listed in this window. You could switch to different years. You could go to last year and look at the giving for last year. And if you want a statement of your giving for any particular year, then you come over to this link that says Download Statement, and you can have the tax statement that you need to be able to send in to the IRS or for other purposes that you might have. But let's say I'm ready to give. I would come over to one of these two links right here give now or scheduled giving you can schedule your giving to be given every week go ahead and have it a recurring transaction that's made every week but I just want to give one time and so I'll click on give now in this window there are several items that it asks for one the first thing it'll ask for is what account do I want to give to most of the time what I'm going to select is regular contribution. That is what I would normally give whenever we pass the plate there in the church assembly. But there are opportunities to give directly to missions, to a special contribution, to uh, the university ministry, to the youth ministry. There are other things, but regular contribution is what we're going to give to. And then you come over and you select the amount that you want to give at this particular time. So we're going to put in $100 and say that's the giving that we want to do at this point. As you come down, it will ask for the bank card information. You can fill that out. It will also ask for address information. If, if you're already a member at Green Lawn, your address information should already fill in for you. If you filled in bank card information once, 
that information will be saved and you will see that at the top of the screen. You select that and let that be the source that you use for giving each week. When you fill in all that information, then you will click continue and that will complete the online giving. It's a pretty simple process. It's one that a lot of people have found to be very helpful for them. And I hope it's one that you can find helpful for you as well. It's very helpful to have this, especially now when we can't meet on Sundays, but when we do get to meet again. It's a convenient way to give whenever you're on vacation, whenever you're on a trip of some kind, to be able to uh, stay current with your participation in the work that's going here at Greenlawn. Be sure and contact us at the church office if you have questions, and use online giving in order to glorify God and be able to help the work at Greenlawn to continue.